Good evening student this is Manas Patnaik your friend and tutor and from today onwards uh, i am going to kick off with a new series wherein i'll be solving problems from different universities across india both engineering graphics and engineering mechanics okay but today it's going to be engineering graphics and we are going to start today's session with sppu pune university okay this is april session 2023 and there are as many as if you just take a careful look 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight problems that appeared right first two questions eight marks second third fourth and fifth question 16 marks seventh and eighth question 10 marks now i'll be making separate videos for all of these problems how many problems sir eight problems that means eight videos will be dedicated towards solving this entire paper once i have made all of those eight videos i'll compile them together into one single video i'll upload that also both on my application and also on youtube if you want the full pdf solution of all of these problems you need to download the manas patnaik app for which the link is in the description down below okay download the app go to the engineering drawing course inside the course you will find going to find the content section inside the content section there is a separate folder for sppu pune university okay once you go inside that you are going to find this 2023 solution uh, pdf right i think we can begin now and uh, this video is also available in hindi agar hindi mein dekhna chahte ho to btech plus channel ko subscribe kar lo niche description mein link uska bhi mil jayega okay what to do sir i think let me read the question let me solve question number 1 draw an ellipse by rectangular method if the major and minor axis are 160 and 100 160 is the major minor is 100 how do you do this let's go ahead 160 by 100 so the best way to start is to make a rectangle 160 by 100 here we go okay i'll be doing the dimensions also don't worry here it is okay what is half of 160 sir it is uh, 80 so at a distance of 80 either from the left or from the right make a point and pass a vertical line through it this way similarly at a distance of 50 half of 100 pass a horizontal line now you can see that this rectangle has been divided into four separate rectangles right there are four quarters so quarter ellipse will be here another quarter will be here another quarter will be here and another quarter will be here i'll be making a very good diagram don't worry now what to do sir uh the best way to approach such questions is if you go for three parts over here you have to go for three parts here also right and in that case you are going to have two points only for passing an ellipse through these points if you go for four parts you have to go for four parts along this horizontal line also then in that case you are going to have as many as three points so number of parts uh, if the number of parts is n then the number of points that you achieve is n minus 1 that's the logic i am going to go for five parts both along this vertical and along this horizontal five parts if you make five parts then you are going to get as many as four points so that uh, you can easily pass an ellipse through these four points more the number of points you have uh, the easier it gets the comfortable it gets for you to pass an ellipse through them okay so always go for more number of parts here you can go with five parts how do you do this sir take a look at this point okay and now pass a line any angle don't worry just pass a line keep your scale over here at equal distances of 10 mm keep on marking points 1 2 3 4 5 why 5 sir because we have to go for five parts that is why five arcs or five points don't make arcs simply make points if i make point you won't be able to see them okay that's why i have made an arc keep your mini drafter join with this okay you need to keep your mini drafter like this agreed okay sir once you keep your mini drafter like this there is a screw over here and what you guys need to do is you need to tighten this screw so that the mini drafter gets locked along this position once that is done once the mini drafter is locked you need to bring it to this fourth point draw a line third point draw a line second point draw a line first point draw a line and then number easy so how many parts 1 2 3 4 5 done sir very easy in the same fashion you have to divide this portion of this quarter also into five equal parts the process is same draw a line any angle any length but you need to mark points at a distance of 
10 millimeters start one two three four five fifth point with this point draw keep your drafter like this okay uh, lovely you've got a screw over here yes sir then tighten the screw yes sir is the drafter locked yes sir bring it to this fourth point draw a line third point second point first point and number done sir very easy now keep your pencil and scale along this point connect this point with four three two and one all of them is this done okay sir now focus on this very point you need to pass a line which actually passes through one dash and intersects this line through one similarly pass a line which passes through two dash and it intersects the line which is this two line okay you can also say this is a let's say c c two line in the same fashion pass a line through three dash okay such that it intersects the line c3 somewhere here i am sure that you've understood this let me do this this is going to give you p1 that's p2 for you that's p3 and that's p4 once you've got all of these points you can straight away start by creating your ellipse but i would suggest you to complete the construction process okay and then start creating the ellipse anyway some of the teachers actually uh they 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 get pissed off <laughs> if you just apply the construction in one quarter and do not apply the same to all the quarters okay if uh, this is the case with your teacher then you have to apply the same construction process over to this side an exact mirror image right four parts over here oh, five parts over here then five parts over here then joining the lines like this uh, you can do that right I'm, I'm absolutely cool with this apply the construction process on any one quarter and then flip and enjoy i'll show you what flip and reflect is here we go these are the points that we are interested in through these points draw vertical lines like this right now extend these lines below all of this has to be done very very carefully very gently with the help of a 4h pencil all the construction where we are doing is 4h pencil just the dimensioning and the lettering that we are doing is h pencil done sir what extend in the downward direction keep one leg of our compass pencil like at p1 steel end over here flip it will intersect somewhere here this is going to give you the new point okay so what we've basically done is we have reflected p1 about this horizontal and we get p5 similarly we have reflected p2 about the horizontal and we've got p6 i'm sure you understood this now just like we made this vertical and reflected them about the horizontal now we are going to make the horizontal and reflect them about this vertical okay for that let me extend this keep the pencil leg at p4 steel end at over here flip it will intersect somewhere here this is going to give you a new point that is p9 in the same fashion you can obtain p10 p11 p12 and now uh, I, I think you know what the next step is going to be either you can flip these points over to the right hand side or you can flip these points with respect to the horizontal down below it's completely your choice let me drop vertical okay in the same fashion you're going to get point 13 14 15 and 16 easy okay now what sir mm, what we'll do now do i have a blue color okay red green green let me use a green color so keep your pencil over here what pencil edge pencil okay our objective was to create an ellipse where the major and minor axis are 160 and 100 okay let me do that when you start by creating i mean when you start creating an ellipse right first of all is build a little bit of exercise of your wrist right because this is going to play a huge role and uh, start the curve making sure that it is sticking to this line let me zoom in start the curve originate the curve initially it is going to stick to this line and then slightly divert it away from this vertical line right let me show this to you this way uh, this way pass 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 my wrists are locked now okay i need to change the position this way 
keep on sticking it with the line sticking 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 now keep it away keep it away let it pass through p9 and so on i mean this is the usual approach okay make sure that your hands are not shivering uh, this should be steady and the wrist should flow should flow right okay let me do this done ellipse created the portion which should be dark is the ellipse and the rest portion should be kept light make sure all the construction is initially done with the help of a 4h pencil this 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 everything is 4h whereas this ellipse is edge pencil this writing work is edge pencil this dimensioning is edge pencil this dimension line is edge pencil this extension line is edge pencil okay now i am sure you know how to do this all right so guys that would be all from my side for today if you appreciate this content if you believe that this has helped you understand engineering graphics do like the video and share it with as many friends as you can and also subscribe to the minus Patnaik channel so that you don't miss any update okay press the bell icon so that you receive all the notifications i think that would be all from my side uh, i am going to be solving this problem which is based on a cycloid in the next video this is going to be fun see you again in the next video thank you very very much have a nice day